welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here then hi my name is Nakwaya and uh, if it's your first time again please make sure you're subscribed if you're an oldie but a goodie honey thank you um, listen guys so it is Tuesday evening and I wanted to start this vlog because I'm really trying to share a lot of the moving type vlogs with you guys um if you guys watched my last vlog you would know that we recently moved to a new apartment same building just a different unit um with a different layout um and so because of that i've been taking a little bit of time to sort of furnish it um not that i'm like you know what am i doing with my old things it's just that um we moved into this building at the start of last year and then like three months later COVID hit well two months later really COVID hit and then we're kind of just stuck at home and I really just didn't feel the need to decorate and buy like I literally we just got the essentials and the things that we needed and a few bits and bobs thought I heard my husband come so now because we've moved I'm finally like finishing that um, and so yeah just sort of taking the time out to get those things that we never got because of COVID and I guess at the time it was just it was more important things to focus our energies on um, but yeah so that's what I've been up to and I kind of wanted to share those moments with you guys how we're getting the apartment together so like we need to get a dining table, dining chairs and stuff. Um, we want to get an entryway bench because we're sort of in instituting a no-shoe policy in our house. It's something that we've been like back and forth about for the longest time. We like commit to it and then kind of just forget. But now we're like serious about like not doing any shoes in the house because these New York streets, honey, they're nasty. Okay, they are nasty. So really want to have a shoe free home and in order to do that we want to have like a sort of little bench at the entrance where you can sit and take off or put on your shoes um, what else I am planning on doing something really special for you in the bedroom like decor wise um, there's something that he's been wanting for a very long time and I've kind of been the one who's like no don't do it and stuff so I really want to um, do that for him but I'll speak to you guys more about that tomorrow because i think that's when it's arriving um, i want to start with the chairs in a little bit or just to take everything out um you almost at the gym so i'm just waiting for him to get back so we can start on that but i wanted to start with the chairs because i want to take too long because i do want to get to bed early tonight like i have a long day ahead of me tomorrow also um fun fact guys i am so excited about this dining table and like it's driving you nuts because he's just like what is it with you and the dining table? Um, the thing is that this is the first table that Yom and I, together as a couple, as a married couple, that we have purchased. Um, I grew up in a home where my dad insisted on eating at the dining table with a full-on knife and fork every single night. Every single night. And it used to irritate me as a child because I would always want to sit in front of, TV, of the TV and watch my favorite TV shows. But as I've gotten older, I've just realized the value of eating together and just sitting at the table. Um, and also um, how with our busy schedules, we don't always have time to interact with each other after the day. Or at the end of the day, sorry. So dining table for me is such a special thing. And I think it's a blessing and really a privilege that we get to have to be able to sit together as a family and eat together i think like for the past over seven years seven years like when i'm at home we eat at the dining table at least i do me my parents um obviously like the younger ones don't but like always always eat at the at the the dining table so i think that's something special I ran away from heartbreak 
got nothing in return for my pain I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid Wasn't looking for a lover Nobody understood where I've been Okay guys, so we have our dining table and this is what it looks like with the chairs. I actually think they look really nice. I didn't, I wasn't, hold on, let me show it for, to you guys from this angle. I wasn't too sure um, how everything would go together, but I actually quite like it. It's like very mid, mid-century mid modern, which is what we're, or I was going for. Over here, we're going to have a bench on this side. So the chairs and then the bench. And I actually have a centerpiece, which I'm going to put up while Yom is busy with this pineapple over here. Hold on, you guys. That's all that was left? No, there's some more. I don't want to get to the very bottom like the other day and just take some out. If this was, we must save that one for the weekend. You make a nice cocktail cup. I thought I needed more time to protect. Okay guys, so that's our table. Just very basic, simple, you know, we'll eat here. And I don't think we're those people who put table settings on a table unless we're actually sitting down to eat. I'm just not sure about this pampas grass situation. But it's fine for now, for tonight. We'll see when the bench comes how I feel about it. But for now, this is our little dining area. Hmm. Yom is laughing because he knows how excited I've been about this. Hey, you guys, what is up? Welcome, not welcome back. Because um, this is not a new vlog, but guys, it is 10.30. And I just got home from work. Um, I was sitting in meetings from 9.30 till quarter past 10. Without break, there was no lunch break. I had to like switch off my camera and eat. And one of the meetings was lit from 11 was literally a marathon session. Like session because I think I mentioned to you guys that I'm facilitating or my boss is facilitating and therefore I'm support staff compiling this huge as complicated document for hours and negotiating back and forth um, and because it's myself and my colleague from Australia that are you know doing this on behalf of our bosses um, it's nowhere to hide you know you can't like be quiet because it's just us too boo <laughs> like we have to Put this whole thing together and so we sat literally from 11 before i go on a rant and a rave the reason i came on camera is because i wanted to show you guys something that i got for yom I just got delivered today um he doesn't know what i got him but i'm excited because it's something that he's been wanting and he's just been the 90 percent in this marriage for a couple of months now he's been very patient with me and i think he's been pulling more more weight than me and I, you know picking up my slack and just being so understanding of like what's happening with me in terms of work in terms of just my i guess mental space where i'm at why am i not in focus um i think i'm still not not i think i know i'm actively still in the grieving process for my brother so you know just even that whole process compounds you know the whole working and stuff like that um running a business um starting my masters my blogging and content creation all of that takes a lot of time it takes a lot of effort and energy and your stay is just um, showing up for me and sort of never just um, being annoyed by it or being frustrated by it. He just takes it all in and I think he knows, I think he knows where my heart is and he understands sort of like my 
my dreams and what I want to do. And because of that, he's fully supportive. And I think also because he's secure in terms of our relationship and our his place in my life in, in, in accordance with all of that stuff. Because he knows I'll drop that shit in two seconds, you know, if, if that was the case. But I think he's secure in knowing where he is as a priority in my life. So none of that stuff phases him and he has no problem like stepping up and taking on a lot of things that I'm not able to do at the moment or where I fall short. So I got Yon a record player. Um, he's really been wanting one for a very long time and we've just never been in the right place for me to get it for him or for him to get it for himself. Um, and it's one of those things that he wants that he sort of just pushed over or delayed and I saw it the other day and I was like I'm gonna get this for my hands okay um so I got him this one it's a crossly executive deluxe player unfortunately the website where I bought it from didn't have too much variety in terms of the colors but I think this is a decent enough color it's neutral and y'all know like my whole house is neutral colors um I only have one record which I actually go get no I'll show you guys when I set up in the bedroom I only have I only have one record that I bought in 2019. I wasn't sure what to get him because Yom has such an eclectic taste when it comes to music. He listens to pretty much everything. I should probably talk and unbox at the same time. He pretty much listens to um, everything. Um, so I wasn't sure what to get him. But funny enough, when when I picked this up from from downstairs, our our doorman like the stuff downstairs he told me he's an avid collector actually and he you know, and he was like he's got a lot of records some in duplicate and triplicate and you he him and Yom can like definitely like chop it up and he can like provide you with like records and he can share some of the stuff he's got um and help you sort of get started with his own collection in that way so that's exciting Okay, so this is the power cord. Open that up. I'm trying to be very fast because Yom will, will come home soon. I just know it. And also, I need to 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 finish, eat, shower, go to bed because I have another one of these days tomorrow. So can't be playing myself by staying up too late. Power cord. Take like this. So it looks like a little suitcase, which I love because that means that the inside is obviously protected um, when you're like traveling or anything, even against dust, you can kind of just close it, you know. like this stand holder for it's like a vinyl record holder to sort of hold his collection of vinyl that he's gonna start so this is this acrylic one i saw it on instagram from um this girl that i follow her name is b Stings. she's also into vinyls and stuff so i saw it on her page and i was like okay that's definitely what i'm gonna get you on.
Okay guys, so this is the record that I have. I bought it 2019. It's a Fela Kuti record. I feel like for me, Fela Kuti is like the original African rock star, you know, like type of thing. And I really just, oh, I just that this cover is really old now. Hold on. So I'm going to show you. Let me move back a little bit and show you what this area now looks like. And I'm on our bed because, you know, small bedroom vibes. So this is our dresser. So I have the turntable over there. I have that candle, but I'm going to switch it up with another one. Okay, guys. So this is now what it looks like. So over here we have the turntable, the record player, whatever you want to call it. I have that candle. It's a bit off OCD vibes, so I'm going to move it a little bit to the right. On my right, and then I have the the thingy with the that will have all the records. I'm still gonna decide whether I want it facing straight that way or sideways, but I think that's something I'll decide if Yom gets more records, um, because then that will fill the holder up a bit more. It'll be easier to see, you know, which way he wants it. And then I just have this random plant over here that I probably have to upgrade, but it's fine for now makes it look a little bit cozy but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to center everything and move everything like into the middle and then i'm going to go eat i think that looks really nice oh this candle is still just trying to be not in the middle okay that's much better i didn't seem to notice that you Checking for me, we were just friends So we started building trust and my fragile heart started to win yeah. Hey you guys, so it's another day um, of putting furniture and stuff together So, well, I just got back from work maybe an hour and a half ago guys, I'm so exhausted and I just had, can you believe, my first meal of the day. <laughs> like just now, I was in another marathon negotiation. But it's fine, we're done for now. We'll do this again next week, same time, same place. Um, if you're following me on Instagram, you probably saw this. But let me show you what one of the UN colleagues from Geneva brought us today. We're working with them on the negotiations. Look at this, chocolate. Look at that. How huge. I actually think it's a couple of... Um, lint bars all put together but it's it just looks really cool like a really big bar of chocolate but anyway so today the final pieces of our furniture came in um we got the the dining bench you guys remember and then also a shoe storage bench because i think i may have mentioned that yoma and i are going shoe free our home is going to be a shoe free zone and what we realized is that we needed a place to like sit down take our shoes off put our shoes on otherwise we'd come do it in the living room which then defeats the purpose of having a shoe free house so i don't know which one i'm going to start with but i want to start now and just be done with it so that i don't have to worry about it during the weekend and Guys, I really want to work from home tomorrow, but I don't know if I can pull it off. I ran away from heartbreak. Got nothing in return for my pain. I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid. Looking for a lover Nobody understood where I've been I guess I thought I needed more time To protect my love from potential affairs So, let me close this door So I was just I didn't get to speak to you guys again After I came back from our run out I said myself um but i just got okay i just finished cleaning you know like a weekly touch up because your girl has just been so busy and i i will continue to be busy with work till like mid june so i know that if i don't do these like little touch-ups over the week it's gonna be late for me in this house um so basically i am um, i just finished with that and um i'm about to figure out what i'm gonna be wearing for 
we're going out tonight we're gonna go get like drinks and food at a place nearby we don't have reservations so i really hope this place that i'm thinking of going isn't busy it's called springs brooklyn it's not too far from our house um, we've walked past it a few times um, and we just we're always busy and stuff like that but I think today would be a good place to go because it's got like a huge patio and it's really hot so I think we would want to be outside um, so yeah I just finished cleaning let me I will I will make sure to show you guys the, the storage shoe storage bench that I got because I think that's the only piece of furniture that I haven't shown you guys I would show it to you guys now but like the TV is playing loudly in the living room and obviously I'll get copyrighted um, because of that thing in the background so I'll show you guys that later but for now let me go actually I have to swap out the laundry put a new load and then I will have to pick up what I'm wearing and I'm so like ah oh, because my clothes are just all over the place because I honestly haven't packed my clothes since you I just I haven't so now I have to like fingers crossed find something um that I can wear but yeah let me go do that so this is what my makeup and hair is looking like guys different angle I actually use the Fenty easy tint that skin blurring moisturizer whatever skin tint thing um and a bit of concealer because obviously dark circles but yeah we're about to head out i'm just waiting on you all to finish <laughs> then we'll be going out um while waiting on you let me actually show you guys what i was saying i'll show you which is our new storage bench that i purchased and again i'm linking everything down below um, so basically you walk in, you sit down, you take your shoes off, the house shoes are at the bottom of the thing, you know, so that's what you wear inside the house, um, and you can swap that out. I really like this, um, pattern and I think it goes very well with the rest of our house and all the items in the house, very neutral, and I got this from Wayfair. My children mustn't be out here just screaming like that, like they have no home training. Guys, so we just got, well, we just finished with date night mm -hmm. and we thought we'd come stop by the promenade for a quick walk um, before we head on home and call it a night. Um, so, yeah, we're just, we are out here, Manhattan yeah, yeah. and Empire State Building. Right there. So we're just here hanging out. Just chilling. Guys, let me tell you a funny story. <laughs> so as we're walking back <laughs> from this restaurant or this place where we're at, <laughs> and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see footage from the place. But it's not going to be on my vlog because I was like, you know, mama and dad. <laughs> you know what? It's private time but anyway um so as we're walking back my husband tells me oh a present can't even be romantic because <laughs> you're walking too fast and i'm like excuse me this is how the people in the streets walk like in these new york streets everyone my walks like my fast. Was, so he's was like why are you rushing to like our house is right there why are you rushing and i'm I like i was marching down the street know. as if she was this walking is, to work this is, this is how everyone usually <laughs> walks and no one told me that it was time to change the pace. Uh, Whether it's date night, work night, fun my night, was, my you walk fast. That's what I have come to learn. So you're almost like, where are you going, girl? Mm -hmm. She was marching down the street. I'm trying to, he, so he's like, I'm trying to be cute. And I'm just like, I mean, it's sir. date night. Our house is like five okay. minutes away from where we're, leave, where we're going. Let me know. And I will slow down my tempo. Like, but in these streets, geez. honey, if you don't walk fast, people are going to walk on top of you. So... <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. Um, I was like, I, was wow, like, wow, I don't wow, know why wow, I'm wow. rushing. That's just how I there's walk no, nowadays. There, like, there's no reason for it to rush. But it's how we roll in these streets. New York has just made her that. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, person can't even be romantic anymore because we can't take romantic strolls. <laughs> what is a stroll? I don't know what a stroll is. <laughs> can't take romantic I know what a power walk is. 
I think romantic scrolls. I know what a power walk is. No more romantic scrolls, but uh, yeah, no, it is. <laughs> yeah, you know what it is. Mm -hmm. But yeah, guys. Um, but to end this vlog, actually, I'm ending this vlog here because I have to edit this in the morning. All Put right. It up. I'll see you guys um, a bit. Is I mean, that how know, I do my intro? Like I mean, outro. I mean, we know it's been a while, but you know, work is busy, life is busy, but we are trying to keep keep up and catch up, and you know, keep you guys involved as much as possible. So, uh, see you in the next vlog. Um, like and subscribe. Is, that's what you usually say, right? Like this video, subscribe this video. You know, interact with it if you must. And um, not if you must. Oh, all the way around oh. the no, but interact doesn't comment. Yeah, so must is like force. We're not forcing. No, if you must. <laughs> If okay. you can, yeah, if, yeah. if you must, yeah. If, if you're can. so inclined. Yeah, if you are so inclined. Yeah. And um, we'll catch you in the next vlog. Uh, yeah. Please subscribe. Catch you later.